So let me show you how to put a repeating or an endless pattern around a 12 ounce latte mug for a start. Now this will apply to any uh, tapered mug but this one will use probably that image there. You can see the flower on that side is part of the flower on that side. So these are tiled. Now I'm using mid journey to create these and you can see the the uh, prompt there. So once you get into mid journey and using it you can create your prompts. There's the four that I've got there. Those there's one, two, three and four. Now what I've got to do is go down here. We can use any of these. I'll use the oh there's four more I generated but they're not repeating patterns. They're just nice patterns to go around the mug. Okay let's look at this one. Just bring it up. Save image. Now that saves the image to somewhere. Mm, okay, there we go. We'll just save it to downloads. That'll be a good a place as any. If you're using this on the iOS, it saves it to Apple Photos. I could probably do the same here, but for this point, I, I won't bother messing around with that. Now that we've got that image, and that's saved in downloads, I'll just check that I've got it easily findable. Let me get over here where I can see it. Downloads, and there it is there. Affinity Inspiration, a possum witch planting flowers, it's a watercolour, etc, etc. That's the one we want. Now then, let's just hide that for the moment, because I'll come back and save all those images in a moment. Now there's our Affinity Photo version 2 and you can see I've got a couple of other ones already there in this, in this option. There's some cherries I made, the more different types of cherries and there's that one there. Now that one isn't, um, there it is, you can see it's another layer, you've got to um, You've got to turn on the warp. Let me just get those out the way for the moment. And I want to put it there on top of those other ones. This is why I had those turned off. And that's where I'm going to put the image, right there. And I'm going to warp the image. So let's go up here. This is a template I made. Now that's exactly the right size template for a 12 ounce tapered latte mug and I've got I've got um, a number of videos on YouTube that show you how to make those. If I remember, if I get around to it, um, I'll put these up on the downloadable. They might already be on the website as downloadables. Okay, so let's place this one. Place. We'll go find it. Downloads. There it is there. That's the one. We'll open that. Find the center line. There it is there. And place it there. Now that's not too bad. I need a slightly bigger image, but it doesn't really matter because what I'm going to do is pull that out to the corners. that out to that corner, that's down there, that's there, snapping is on so you can see the lines. Now I've got that there and we've got to put a mesh warp on that because that's not really suitable is it? So down to the bottom right hand side and we want mesh warp, these are live filters right? Mesh warp that's why it puts that funny little thing on the side. Now, bring that down to there. Bring the left hand one across to the bottom. Don't worry about the fact that it's all off square at the moment. We'll straighten that up in a moment. Bring that down to there. Bring that across to there. 
Now I'll straighten the side ones up. Just bring that so it's in line with that. Bring that one across so it's in line with that. That's pretty close. Go to the bottom. Bring that one out so it's in line with that. Bring that handle back across so it's in line with that. Now remember, if you want to get hold of those handles again, once you've moved off them, you click in the corner. There and there. Now we've got to get the centre line, which is about there. I probably could have put some guidelines in there, because you can't see the guides and you can't print them. Now I've just grabbed that and I'm bringing that up to the top. This one down here has got the handles on it already. Now I'm just grabbing that one, bringing that up to there. Then I'll use the handles to bring that up there. Use the handles on that one too. You can drag them sideways as well as... See, that's brought it down. Drag it sideways so you can just adjust that. Drag that one sideways, adjust that a little bit. Now, there's our image. See how you've got the flower image on that side and the flower image on that side. When you wrap that right around your 12-ounce latte mug, those flowers will join up. There's a flower tip there. There should be the flower tip just there. The edge of that flower there is the edge of that flower there, and so on. So it's pretty close. Now, you can fiddle around with this and get it exact. If you're able to produce an image that you want to wrap around, that's a repeating pattern, that's exactly that size, which is 3035.2 pixels by 1371 pixels, then you'll get it without any errors at all. But that's, I mean, that's as good as you're going to get. Who's going to see how fine that is? Because those flowers there will match up around the other side. And that's all there is to it. It's quite that simple. Then you go to export. Hang on, I cancel that a moment. If you really want to do this, then there's your transparent background. Okay, so you tra export this. You've got Export, now on a PDF, let's go for PNG, there's your PNG, I'll export that, put that in Downloads, go over to Finder, and there's our Downloads there, and there it is. Now, how nice is that? A nice wraparound, complete from end to end, um, mug pattern. Now, if you're unhappy with the patterns, then you go to Mid Journey, which of course, as you know, is used on, on. Um, see, there's the flower there, and there's the flower there. If I use that one, that flower there matches that flower there. There's the end of that, and the end of that. That flower there and that flower there. Very nice. Okay. Now, if you want other ones, there's some ones there. Now, you'll notice I didn't put in the word tile. So they're not tiled, which makes the repeating pattern. The word tile makes a repeating pattern. And there we go. That's all there is to it.